Hello everyone, I am Amrita Haryani from Mahal Ajman Public School and I am in class 9th B and today I am going to perform an activity on topic practical examples of laws of motion. Now before coming to practical examples of laws of motion, we have to understand that what are three laws of motions. Now let's come to the first law of motion. The Newton's first law of motion states that if an object is at rest, it will remain at rest and, and if an object is in motion, it will remain at motion in the same speed and in the space, same direction until and unless an external force is applied on it. Now let's see it by doing a practical example on first law. Now let us take an example of this pen. This pen is experiencing downward force and at the same time the table is exerting upward force on the earth. Let us assume that downward force of the earth on this span is 100N and the upward force acting on this span is also 100N. Then the net external force on this pen is zero. Thus the pen will remain at rest according to Newton's first law of motion. The second law of motion states that the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the force applied on it in the direction of force. Now let us take a practical example to understand it more clearly. Now let's take a practical example of Newton's second law of motion. Newton's second law of motion states that the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to, proportional to the force applied on it. So, sorry. Let's try to understand that. In this, I have taken a sharpener, a paper ball and a ball. Now, we place the sharpener here. Now, we will see what the sharpener has impact on the Now, let's see. First, we will take a paper ball. We will try to hit it with it. So, you have seen that कि इस पेपर बॉल का इस शार्पनर पे छोटा सा इफेक्ट पड़ा क्यों क्योंकि इसका मास बहुत कम था इसलिए ये फोर्स अप्लाई नहीं कर पाया उतना ज्यादा उस शार्पनर पे इसलिए ये शार्पनर पे ज्यादा इफेक्ट नहीं पड़ा अब सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट हम इस बड़े बॉल के साथ करेंगे नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू गिव तो जैसा कि आपने देखा इस बॉल का मास बहुत ज्यादा था इसलिए ये बॉल ने शार्पनर को हिट करके शार्पनर गिर गया इसलिए ये प्रूव होता है कि ये गिर गया इसलिए ये प्रूव होता है कि ये जितना ज्यादा मास होगा उतना ज्यादा वो फोर्स अप्लाई करेगा उस ऑब्जेक्ट पर नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन सेज न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन स्टेट्स दैट एवरी एक्शन हैज एन इक्वल एंड अपोजिट रिएक्शन now let us take a practical example to understand it more clearly. Yes, hitting a ball on the ground is the example of Newton's third law of motion because the ball exerted a equal amount of force on the floor and the floor exerted a equal amount of force than that of the ball. Now the hitting of the ball on the floor is the action and the back of the ball from the floor is according to Newton's third law of motion. Or, this we conclude that 